panel was about uh, local and global architecture, the difficulties or the advantages of doing global architecture in local contexts. And we had Perkins and Will and uh, Bernish, Stefan Bernish, as well as ourselves, Idas, there. And what we were looking at was the different methodologies of carrying out uh, global architecture, particularly within the local economies of, let's say, China. The models have changed. Over the years, we've gone from uh, a star architect model, uh, a North American imported uh, office building model, and now what we're finding is that the model is, has to be much more relevant to local context and situation. With 80% of the world's construction market now in Asia and particularly of course in China and the Chinese cities being so huge and culturally disparate it's actually necessary to have a great deal of understanding about uh, the local culture, climate, materials, way of life than it is just simply to import a global solution. So we actually concluded with that the way ahead for architecture in the next decade, global architecture would be, there would have to be truly local plus global and we have to embed ourselves within the cultures that we're building for. Value simply to me is the value of the architecture we bring to the communities that we design for. Primarily, of course, we design for uh, the owner of the building and we design for uh, the ongoing uh, culture of the city, but we particularly design for the urban environment of that city, the people of that city. So value is the value that we bring to those people. How much value are we creating for those people? Not simply self-proclaimed value in order to win an award. I think it's the shifting world economies more than anything else. And that probably has always been true, that what shapes architecture is the economic realities, necessities, uh, rather than the cultural necessities and values. Because it's the need to have a building that will create a piece of architecture. Depending where you are and the need for a building, creates a different type of architecture. So let's take one example in China right now. We, China is developing its own building types. So we have a mixed commercial building type which is not known anywhere else in the world. It was invented in Hong Kong, it was translated into China has now become a completely different building type. Um, and as a result, Asian designers who understand that building type are now exporting it to cities uh, such as London uh, and Paris and New York. So what we can say is that the economic necessities of China are creating new building types. Those new building types are giving the uh, ability for architects to create exciting and valid new architecture. And furthermore, what's happening is that global architects are having to place themselves within the context of an emergent economy like China in order to create any form of architecture which, which is acceptable and relevant. So that certainly is changing the face of world architecture, but it's certainly true to say that 80% of new architecture across the world is going to be coming out of China for the next decade. Yes, I've been studying it in great detail. Um, what, one of the great things about walking around the entrance gallery is I get a list of companies, young companies up and coming and great designs. And I think that's particularly important uh, for me as chairman of IDAS to understand what is happening across the world globally. We are a global company, so I need to understand what's happening, where design is going, who's creating great design, who is being relevant across the world and especially in Asia. There's real depth of talent within those halls. Uh, some of the design that's been created in the last year is absolutely awesome and I would look forward to working with those, some of those designers uh, very much indeed. Sponsoring WAF is one of the few institutions that awards and promotes great architecture, not necessarily for its cultural merits or for its star architect qualities, but because it is truly relevant. So it seemed to me that it would be correct for IDAS to associate itself with the WAF cause. We wish to be 
socially and culturally relevant. We wish to embed ourselves within the culture of the communities we design for. And we see that WAF actually promotes that as well.